I seem to screw up every job I get, really. Even my first job, I worked at Canada's Wonderland as a ride operator. Right? I worked on this ride, two people at a time would uh, they'd get on either side of me on a sled, I'd press a button and it would send them down this really steep drop. It was an intimidating ride. But one day I had a group of about 39-year-old French school children from Quebec got on the ride, and their teacher went on first to show them there was nothing to be afraid of. And she said, oh, could you make sure the kids are ready? They're really scared. And I said, sure, of course. She said, yeah, but they don't speak English. So how you say, are you ready in French is you say, et tout prêt. And I said, et tout prêt, et tout prêt, okay, I got it. Then I sent the teacher down the ride. The teacher left. That's all the French she taught me. It's not enough. I was just 19 years old. There were 300 people in line total. I wanted to keep line going. I got in trouble later that day. My supervisor pulls me over and says, tell me about these French school children. I said, yeah, they were great. I asked each and every one of them, et tu prêt? That means, are you ready in French? And she said, okay, but uh, what if the kids weren't ready? <laughs> well, I don't speak French. I let them go anyway. Because <laughs> after I sent the teacher down the ride, two of the kids got on the ride, and I said, et tu prêt? Et tu prêt? And then the kids said, uh, something in French. <laughs> and then I said, Okay, have fun! And I said, screaming down the ride. And then two more kids got on the ride. I said, et tu prêt? Et tu prêt? And then these two, they started yelling gibberish at me. And I thought, well, they seem like they're having fun. And I sent them down the ride, too. And then two more kids got on the ride. you think at some points the kids would stop getting on the goddamn ride. But they were only nine years old. There were people behind them in line yelling, like, get a move on. So they kept getting on the ride. And then I tricked them into thinking I spoke French. And then they begged to get off the ride. And then I'd laugh and I'd send them down anyway. It was like some kind of JFL gags joke where neither side was in on the joke. Once in a while, I'd throw in the rest of my French, you know, I'd say, Je m'appelle Thomas before I sent them down. In my defense, if they had been yelling things like, no, 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 or, or je suis terrified or something, I would have clued in. But they thought I spoke French, so if you translate the whole interaction to English, two of the kids would get on the ride and I'd say, are you ready? Are you ready? And then they'd say stuff in French like, oh, thank God, you speak French. I don't want to go on this ride. None of us want to go on this ride. Why do you keep sending us down? Are you insane? And then I'd say, my name's Thomas, and I'd send him this time. I shouldn't have told them my name, pretty sure that's how my supervisor found out about it. Guys, I wrote that joke for JFL. Uh, I didn't get invited to JFL, but I wrote that joke for them. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for listening.